Welcome to our channel. Thank you for visiting. We appreciate your input. Please leave us a comment or a question below. Today we answer the question, what is colloidal silver, and the controversial benefits and dangers. Scientists have observed that silver kills germs, but they still don't completely understand how. A lack of strong scientific evidence means the use of colloidal silver is still somewhat controversial. The use of silver to control infections was common in ancient civilizations. In recent years, this material has resurfaced as a therapeutic option due to the increasing prevalence of bacterial resistance to antimicrobials. This renewed interest has prompted researchers to investigate how the antimicrobial properties of silver might be enhanced, thus broadening the possibilities for antimicrobial applications. Throughout history, silver has consistently been used to restrict the spread of human disease by incorporation into articles used in daily life. The earliest recorded use of silver for therapeutic purposes dates back to the Han Dynasty in China circa 1500 BCE. Silver vessels and plates were frequently used during the Phoenician, Macedonian, and Persian empires. Families of the higher socioeconomic classes during the Middle Ages were so acquainted with the usage of silver that they developed bluish skin discolorations known as argyria, an affliction which may have led to the term, blue blood, to describe members of the aristocracy. Modern medicine utilizes medical-grade forms of silver, such as silver nitrate, silver sulfadiazine, and colloidal silver. Silver is a metal and a non-essential element in the body. It is much safer to a human body than other heavy metals like lead and mercury. We can accumulate much more silver in our bodies before it becomes toxic. Colloidal silver is a powerful antimicrobial. The effectiveness as an antiviral or antifungal can vary depending on the particular infection and quality of the product itself. Colloidal silver is a natural remedy that has been used for thousands of years. Does that mean it should still be used today? There is reason to be careful about using it. While we've covered some concerns, there are lots of ways to use colloidal silver safely as a part of your natural medicine cabinet. Check out the ways that you can use colloidal silver. Nasal rinse. Add a few drops to distilled water, don't combine with salt, and use your neti pot as usual to rinse the sinus cavity. Ear infections. Use two to three drops in the ear, a few times a day, until symptoms subside. Pink eye. Add two to three drops directly to the infected eye, three to four times daily or until symptoms go away. Skin fungus or ringworm. Treat patchy skin infections with a few drops applied directly two to three times per day. Let dry on the skin to get the full effect. Toenail infections. Add two to three drops to the top of the infected toenail. Use three to four times a day until symptoms clear up. First aid disinfectant. Use as you would other antibacterial creams for minor cuts, scrapes, or bug bites. Acne. Add one to two drops to acne breakouts three to four times a day. Gingivitis. Add one teaspoon to purified water and swish in the mouth two to three times per day. If you choose to buy colloidal silver, it's important to make sure you're getting a pure product. Colloidal silver ingredients should only include silver and water. There should not be anything else in it. When you're looking at buying colloidal silver, higher ppm is not better. Supplements are considered to be safest when they are between 10 and 20 ppm. Taking in too much colloidal silver can result in becoming toxic or having other complications, like the graying, bluing of skin. While colloidal silver might be safe and effective when used externally, or when targeting pathogens in the gut, it can also have unintended consequences. Because colloidal silver does have some side effects, research suggests using it carefully rather than liberally. Colloidal silver can mess with or enhance the effects or side effects of some medications. Always check with your doctor before starting it or using it alongside anything else. Please like, subscribe and share the news.